Okay, next we're gonna sew all the panels together, but we're gonna sew the back and the front panel together first at the shoulder seam here. And I already sew one side here, one shoulder here, and I will show you how to sew this shoulder. And now, um, this part is also depend on how wide you want your neck area to be. Okay, so for me, I gonna sew uh, the back and the front panel here, 19 stitches in each shoulder. That's what I like. And if you want your neck area wider, you sew less stitches like this. Okay, but whatever you do, make sure both shoulder, you're gonna sew the same amount of the stitches because you want both shoulder to be even. All right, so yeah, I have 19 stitches sew on this size and then I'm gonna sew 19 stitches on this size as well. All right, and we're gonna sew on the wrong side. So now the back and the front panel are right side facing down, the wrong side facing up because we're gonna sew on the wrong side. We're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier for sew and you can use any method you prefer for sewing. Oops, sorry. All right, let me show you here. So I placed my stitch marker, uh, the back and the front panel together here. So let me show you how I count my stitches, okay? So the third chain is count as one double crochet, right? So I placed my stitch marker into the third chain of the back panel and then into the first stitch of the front panel here. So we count that the first stitch, okay? So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. I have 19 stitches here and I place the marker into the 19 stitch. Do exactly the same on the back panel. 19 stitches and then place the stitch marker into that 19 stitch. Let's get sewing. I have my yarn needle here and my tail ready to go. So first, I gonna remove the stitch marker and remember that stitch. We're gonna insert the needle into that stitch which is the third chain, right here, the, right into the third chain there. Bring it out. And then I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch and in that third chain again, just to lock the yarn. The first stitch here, the third chain there. Okay, next stitch here, which is the chain one space. And next stitch there, which is the chain one space. I'm just gonna sew back and forth. Nothing fancy. And like I said, whatever you prefer, you can use any method you prefer. Next stitch here, and then next stitch there. Next stitch here, which is the chain one space. Next stitch there, which is the chain one space as well. Bring it out. Next stitch here and then next stitch there. Next stitch here and next stitch there. Which is the chain one space. And then next stitch here and next stitch there. All right, just keep sewing. Make sure you don't sew too tight or too loose. Here's what it looks like so far. This is on the wrong side and this is on the right side. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna keep sewing back and forth until I reach the stitch marker here and I will be back. Yeah, make sure I don't sew too tight or too loose. All right, good luck. I will be back when I'm at the end here, which is the marker stitch here. Okay, now I reach the stitch marker here 
and I already insert into that marker stitch. So next, I just gonna remove this stitch marker and then I gonna weave the end. Nothing fancy, just hide the tail. And then I'm gonna tie a knot right here. And then keep hiding the tail. And so that. And yeah, make sure it's secure and then trim the tail. So here is the wrong side and here is the right side. Beautiful. And both sides, so exactly the same. Here's my neck area here. All right, so next we're gonna sew the sleeve into the main panel. Okay, after we sew the back and front panels together at the shoulder seam here, and next we're gonna sew the sleeve into the main panel. I already sew one side here. I'm gonna show you. Here's what I sew. All right, here's the back panel, here's the front, here is the shoulder seam, and here is sleeve. Here's where I sew. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you how to sew this side. And we also sew on the wrong side. So now all my panels, wrong side facing up, right side facing down. And we're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier for sewing as well. So I'm gonna place my um, sleeve uh, in the middle of the shoulder seam here. And whatever you sew, make sure that both panels are even when you sew the sleeve into the panels. So I sew the sleeve from the shoulder seam here to the front panel around six inches. And I place this stitch marker there. I'm gonna do the same the back panel around six inches. See? All right, let's say make sure it's even. That's it. And you can use any method you prefer for sewing. So make sure all the wrong side facing up, okay? <laughs> all right, first, I can now remove this stitch marker and remember that stitch. And insert the needle into that stitch. And then I can now insert my needle into the same stitch one more time, the sleeve and in the back panel. So just to lock the yarn. Make sure don't sew it too tight or too loose. So next stitch of the sleeve here, next stitch of the front panel there. It's difficult to see the normal stitches, the front and the back panel because it's the, uh, the end of each row. But whatever you do, like I said, make sure it's even, don't sew too tight or too loose and check as you go and take your time, it's very important. All right, so I insert into the next stitch of the sleeve here, and the next stitch of the front panel there. Bring it out. Insert into the next stitch of the sleeve here, next stitch of the front panel. That's what I'm gonna sew. I'm gonna sew back and forth really easy. And the next stitch of the sleeve here, next stitch of the front panel there. And next stitch of the sleeve, next stitch of the front panel there. Next stitch of the sleeve, next stitch of the front panel there. Okay, here's what it looks like so far on the wrong side. Here is the right side. Okay. All right, here's what I'm gonna sew. I'm gonna sew uh, all along until I reach the end here. And like I said, take your time. 
shake as you go. And uh, when I reach this stitch marker, so this blue stitch marker I place into the middle of the sleeve and then right into the shoulder seam. So that's way I know like um, my panels is even. All right, okay. Take your time, good luck, and I will be back when I'm at the end here. Okay, I'm at the end here, and next, you just need to weave the end, and you're done. And also, this ends as well. Remember when we change color, when we make the panel, we change from color A to color B here, you're also gonna weave those in as well, forget to tell you. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you how to weave the ends because I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. Yeah, just weave all the ends. And next, after you weave all the ends here, next we're gonna sew uh, the uh, top together at the side seam and then at the sleeve on the bottom, all right? Okay, next, we're gonna sew the side seam here and in the sleeve. To do that, you need to fold your top in half with the right side facing each other. And we're gonna sew on the wrong side. So I already sew one side here. So I sew this here. And then I sew the sleeve here as well. Okay, so here's what I like to do. From the side seam, from here, from the bottom, all the way up till the armpit, I use the color A to sew. And then for the sleeve, all the way down here, I use the color B to sew. That's why you don't see too much, the color popped out. That's what I like to do. So now, my top wrong side facing out, here's the right side facing each other. I'm gonna show you how to sew this side, okay? Beautiful. I'm gonna turn this way so easier to see. Here's my color A. I already cut the yarn here. So I cut about, I would say 30, 40 inches long, enough to sew the side seam for the color A. And for the color B, I already cut as well. So probably around 30, 40 inches long as well to sew the sleeve, color B. All right, I'm gonna show you how to sew the side seam first with the color A. Sew on the wrong side, okay? Use any method you prefer for sewing. So I'm gonna insert my needle into the corner here, right into the very first stitch. I'll call this front panel, I'll call that back panel. And then insert to the back panel, right? in the corner there as well for stitch. So this is difficult to see a normal stitch, be careful. But whatever you do, just make sure it's all even and not too tight or too loose. And then I insert into the next stitch of the front panel here, next stitch of the back panel there. Next stitch of the front panel here, next stitch of the back panel there. Next stitch of the front panel here. Next stitch of the back panel there. Next stitch here of the front panel. Next stitch there of the uh, back panel. Next stitch of the front panel here, next stitch of the back panel there. Next stitch of the front panel here, next stitch of the back panel there. Like that. That's what I'm gonna sew, just back and forth. Very easy. And like I said, you can use any method you prefer for sewing. Here's what it looks like on the wrong side so far. Here on the right side so far. Alright, so I just gonna keep sewing back and forth until I reach the armpit here and then after that I gonna weave the end with the color A and then I gonna bring the color B 
and use the color B to sew the sleeve all the way down till the end. Okay? Alright, just make sure you don't sew it too tight or too loose. Maybe I will meet you guys back in when I'm at the uh, uh, armpit here. Just to show you when I start using the color B to sew the sleeve. Alright, I'll meet you guys here. <laughs> Okay, now I reach the armpit here with my color A here, and then next I'm gonna weave the end with the color A. So just weave the end. Maybe tie a knot. And keep weaving the end. Alright, just make sure it's secure and trim the tail. And then next, I'm gonna use my color B. And if you prefer, just use one color, totally fine. But I just wanna tell you what I like to do. And I think this way is better because if you use color A to sew the color B, you will see a little bit that the color will uh, pop out on the right side. So yeah, anyway, so I have my color B here, ready to go. I'm gonna sew the color B on this sleeve. So I'm gonna insert around this armpit here. Leave a tail a little bit for weaving the end later. And then I insert into the next stitch here and the next stitch there. Just sew back and forth. And again, you can use any method you prefer. Next stitch here, and next stitch there. Oops. And then next stitch here, and next stitch there. Hope you can see, right there. And then next stitch here, next stitch there. And again, this is difficult to see the normal stitches because we just sew into the end of each row. Whatever you do, just make sure it's even, <laughs> not so too tight or too loose. So next stitch here, and next stitch there. And next stitch here, and next stitch there. All right, that's what I'm gonna sew back and forth, back and forth. Here's what it's look like so far. All right, I'm just gonna keep sewing all the way down until I reach the end here, and I will be back. Just take your time, be patient, good luck, and I will be back. Okay, now I sew till the end here and next I just gonna weave the ends and I'm done so yeah you just need to weave all the ends I'm not gonna show you how to do that I'm pretty sure you know how to do that right and here's what it look like so this is the wrong side okay and I'm gonna weave the end later I'm just gonna turn the right side out just to show you Okay, here's my top. It's really cute. I love it. So here's the right side. Here's where I sew. This is the right side. And this is the right side where I sew. Beautiful. I love it. I hope you do too. That's it, guy. Congratulations. You just create a very cute top here. If you like this video, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, please just text me on Facebook or Instagram. I will put all the links in the description below. 
Yay! Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye.